you realize that lasciviousness actually means sexual behavior that is contrary to what is known to be appropriate. Now, I realize that that's quite shocking to talk about sexual behavior on one of these programs, but I'm telling you, that's what the Bible says that they're trying to change our faith into. Pastor, Pastor, I've sinned. What, what did you kill someone? No. Well, it's okay then. We're cool with sin in our church. Really, Pastor Barry? Is that happening in churches where they don't care about sin? Yes! Jude in verse 4 says it was happening 2,000 years ago, and today it's still happening. Let's read that verse again. It says, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. There's the word. Hey, listen, that's exactly what our Bible says. And it goes on to say, denying our Lord God and the Lord Jesus Christ with the way that they were living. So, Mr. Lascivious Pastor, yeah, tell me, how has God changed in these years? Well, here's how it's going. Malachi 3.6 says Jehovah changes not. Jehovah changes not. Right, okay, so how has your church changed in these years? Well, actually, I have a list. Now you can cuss and cheat and steal and drink and smoke and sleep around, and as an added bonus, you can sleep with people that aren't your wife. So essentially, you have totally denied God's moral standard. Yeah, you could say that. Ah. So the basic idea here is we've got to stop denying Christ's holiness in our lives. Can you guys say that? Stop denying, denying Christ's holiness, holiness in our lives. Stop denying Christ's holiness in our lives. All right, you ready? Stop denying, denying Christ's holiness. All right, everybody's got to have a piece, all right? Oh, uh, no. Stop denying Christ's holiness in our lives.